I think that bringing inflation down should be our number one priority, and President Biden, um, in an op-ed on inflation in recent remarks, has indicated that it is our top priority. We do have to recognize the Federal Reserve is charged, has an important role to play, and they're committed to doing what it takes to bring inflation down, and President Biden is strongly supportive of the independence of the Fed and getting out of the way and giving them the room to do um, what they need to do. I think we can complement that by deficit reduction. But beyond that, the President has done what we can to address supply chain challenges. And as um, discussed with Senator Wyden, Chair Wyden, that um, I believe Congress, the President believes Congress can do a lot to mitigate some of the most important and burdensome costs that households face, whether it's um, that they can't find affordable housing, that prescription drug prices are too high, and we can address that while also raising, raising revenue for the government, whether it's high health care costs or high energy costs by making the investments um, in renewables that are um, necessary to bring down utility bills and um, shield us from geopolitical developments that uh, provide shocks to our economy. These are things that Congress can do. And in the course of doing that, we'll um, expand the supply side of our economy because um, well, we know private investment is one important investment we need to make to improve the economy's potential. There are others, infrastructure, investment in people, in education, in training, investment in child care and early childhood education, elder care that would enable greater labor force participation. All of that could help to bring down uh, inflation and lead to strong, sustainable, stable growth.